good morning guys how are you all doing today i hope you're doing very fine i am very very fine and i am so happy this period i'm so excited this period because it's two days to my birthday yeah so i am going on the third floor is that how they call it yes i'm entering the third floor day after tomorrow i'm going to be turning 30 yay so um for the first time ever i just want to take out time to do like a photo shoot which hasn't really been working for me i i did a dress and um up to now the person that made the dress for me has not even brought it um everything is just somehow children are resuming school tomorrow so i am very very i'm very occupied this period number of orders here and there you know so but in everything i'm just trying to make sure that i make it a memory memorable period i have um, i finally got a makeup artist that was quite affordable because i'm just going to do makeup and wipe it off after the photo shoot i don't even have plans to go anywhere and um the photographer i got a photographer that is actually very good and also affordable um a bit far from here but not too far so today i am going to head out to do all that and i'm not doing it alone i'm going with my whole family even my husband i was able to move my husband to come with me because since we had daniel since we had abigail since i had my first child we have never ever done a photo shoot like we have never gone to a studio to snap so there's no picture unless apart from the pictures on the phone instagram and all that we don't have any professional picture with us as a family not talk about daniela so i am hoping that today we will be able to um take a picture together the four of us and then focus on me of course um maybe take like a couple of pictures to post on social media so right now i am preparing to go daddy is tired he's not tired he's not tired he's tired he's, tired. he's, tired. he's, he's trying to catch his breath it's not Trying his breath. He's trying to catch his breath. See how he's sweating. Mm. Let's continue. Put your hands, shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it very well, Abigail. Eleven. Twelve. No kick. Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight. This small one. Ten. Second left. One, two, three. That part is full. Oh, look at that. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Stand up and try again now. Nani, stand up. What is ceiling? Oh. Abigail, what is seven lane alien? One, two, three, four, seven, Come, let's go take a bath. Let's go take a bath, okay? Two, three. Abigail, come, let's go and take a bath. No, I'm doing exercise. You're doing exercise when you're done, okay? So, Abigail, I'm about to retouch her hair. Um, this was how it was packed, so I'm just going to start retouching it in four parts. I'm going to make it very quick so that it won't hurt her much. I'm using sorry my darling. I'm using this Mamiya Organics kiddies and I use it for her like I retouch it like once in four months. So um I've used it a couple of months and I think this is the last part. It comes in two cups. But I use only half cup for Abigail's hair, so when I use this one, I mix it with the activator. So even when, when I mix it with the activator, it becomes more. 
and then it's possible for me to retouch everything. No. I don't even know what to do with Daniela's hair because there's a lot of I don't understand the hair. What I know is I'm not going to cut this hair. See. See this front. The front is even manageable. But the back. Maybe let me see the back of your hair. <laughs> see the back. Just look at the back. You can't, you can't even pack. <laughs> get this. Danny, do you want to taste? Don't want to taste. <laughs> oh, she said she doesn't want to taste. You don't like it. It's like spaghetti now. Is it not like spaghetti? So guys, this is my own food. I forgot to put onion rings on my husband's own. I've always hated this food though. This is like the first time in like 10 years. Maybe stand up. This is like the first time in 10 years I'm eating it. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Can you guys see my face? Can you see my makeup? Guys, I was li I was actually scared of surrendering my face for somebody to beat. But then I went to this makeup artist near me and um, she did this job. I, I like the fact that my eyebrows kind of look natural, don't look like a sticker. My lashes are very light. I told her I wanted long but very light lashes and she gave me exactly what I wanted. See, this, this you see this life is not really, this photo shoot life, this makeup, this professional makeup and nails. Guys, it's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not, it's not for me. I almost went out of my mind today because um first of all okay guys have you seen my nails i haven't had my nails done since i got married and this is the first time 
I am doing my nails since after my wedding I think it doesn't look bad I wasn't too particular about the design I want the first thing she showed me was what I chose um, not too particular about it but then um, I on my way back one of them broke and this is the first day can you imagine if I really had high hopes on these fingernails see see so this finger this thumb broke and I'm very happy because this is actually my right thumb so I can comfortably press my phone now that it's broken so I'm now wondering if I'm someone that is so keen on nails this is how my nail will break on the first day hey. and I don't know guys but you guys that do this thing I give you guys hand you guys are doing well um really i think i have had enough celebration with all this makeup and pictures oh yes i took the opportunity to take a family picture it wasn't so serious we just were we were just very casual in our jeans and um t-shirts or whatever tops we were just very random and very casual dressing i just wanted all of us to be in one picture together like a professional picture and i'm very happy my husband made it possible as tough as it was guys it was so difficult because we didn't have a car to run around our car has been at the mechanics for some days now so we didn't even have a car to run around so we had to use public transport and my husband pulled through you know he brought the children when I was done and you know I'm just so grateful because he tried his best this is the first time my husband is making an extra effort on my birthday normally every month every every year my birthday comes like a surprise and it's like last minute he's thinking of ah, what can I do let it not be that you say this year again I did not give her anything that's when you will see him thinking you know you will see him trying to wait for you to say and it just got so tiring. I, this year, I just told him, if you don't buy me something, if you don't give me a gift, I won't forgive you. And I will stop buying gifts for you because I've literally bought him gifts every single year of every single year of this marriage. Even during our dating days, I have always bought him gifts. But since we got married, he just retired. You know, he, he not like he won't buy anything. He might give me money. You know, he might buy me a cake, buy drinks, entertain guests. But I really value gifts. I really value a gift that you sat down to think about to get me something that you thought I liked. I really value that. And he has not been doing that. So this time around, I gave him a list of things I wanted for my birthday. And um, okay, the three things on the list were one was a cylinder bed sewing machine which is really expensive i didn't think he was going to buy it because that sewing machine is about three hundred and fifty thousand naira and um i'm trying to save up to even buy the machine so i didn't think he was going to get that and then i told him i needed a phone an iphone um i didn't think he was going to get that because iphones are also very expensive and then i told him i needed a hair a human hair wig anything from like 10 12 inches straight bob and i know he he won't know where to buy the original of this so i i connected him to someone that sells one of his cousins sells original wigs so i told him to buy from her and then he was negotiating i don't i feel like he was kind of feeling guilty about spending that kind of money on hair so he asked me if i prefer to have the money or he goes ahead to buy the hair to buy the hair so the Igbo girl in me, Omo, I now looked at that money like, hey, I need this money. This money is better for me than this. So I just collected the money and <laughs> I decided to use the money to buy something else. And I've been spending the money. In fact, in fact, right now as I'm talking to you, the money is finished. The money he gave me is finished. But I'm so happy that at least he intentionally kept it out for me, you know. And that's one of the things that's making my birthday this year. So um, tomorrow school runs begins and um, I'm just looking forward to how Wednesday is going to play out. Wednesday being my birthday. I'm just looking for how, forward to how it's going to play out. So guys, if, if you love me and you want to buy me a gift, please just send me cash. And, and I will be very happy and willing to accept. So... Um, I think that's the end of this vlog. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.